Hi friends. Welcome to our channel. Today, we have a very special story for you. This is the story of Saint Nicholas. Many people call him Santa Claus today. We will learn why people love him so much. We will learn why he gives gifts. This is a simple story and learn English through stories now. Let's start reading together. A long time ago, there was a boy named Nicholas. He lived in a place called Turkey. He had a nice house and good parents. His parents were rich, but they were very kind. They always helped poor people. Nicholas watched his parents and learned to be kind too. Nicholas's mother and father believed in God. They went to church every day. They taught Nicholas about Jesus. They told him that helping others is very good. They showed him how to share with others. Nicholas was very happy with his family. He learned many good things from them. One day, something bad happened. Many people in the town got sick. Nicholas's mother got sick too. Then his father got sick. The doctors tried to help them, but they could not get better. Both of Nicholas's parents died. Nicholas was very sad. He was alone now. Now Nicholas lived in the big house by himself. He had his parents' money. He was rich, but he was sad. Then he remembered what his parents taught him. They said, always help others. He thought, I can use this money to help people. This will make my parents happy in heaven. In Nicholas's town, there was a very poor man. He had three daughters. In those days, girls needed money to get married. This money was called a dowry. The poor man had no money. He could not help his daughters get married. Everyone was very sad. One night, Nicholas had an idea. He took some gold from his house. He went to the poor man's house at night. He saw stockings drying near the window. He threw the gold into a stocking. In the morning, the family found the gold. They were very happy. One year later, Nicholas did it again. He brought gold for the second daughter. He threw it through the window at night. Nobody saw him. In the morning, they found more gold. The second daughter could now get married too. The family was very happy. The poor man wanted to know who was helping them. On the third night, he waited by the window. He wanted to see who would bring gold. Nicholas came again with gold for the third daughter. This time, the father saw him. The father ran to Nicholas. He said, it was you. You helped my family. Nicholas said, please don't tell anyone. God sees our good actions. That is enough. The father promised to keep the secret. But people still told stories about the kind helper. Nicholas grew up to be a very good man. He always helped poor people. He gave food to hungry children. He helped sick people get better. He did everything in secret. He didn't want people to thank him. He just wanted to make others happy. When Nicholas was older, he became a church leader. They called him Bishop Nicholas. He wore special red and white clothes. He helped more and more people. Everyone loved him because he was so kind. Children especially liked him because he gave them small gifts. 
people told many stories about Nicholas. Sailors said he helped them in storms. Poor people said he gave them food. Children said he brought them gifts at night. Everyone had a story about how Nicholas helped them. But Nicholas always stayed humble. Nicholas loved helping children. He gave them small gifts and treats. He told them stories about being good. Parents told their children, be kind like Nicholas. Children tried to be good like him. They wanted to help others too. Many sailors knew Nicholas. They said he helped them in big storms. When their boats were in trouble, they prayed to Nicholas. They said he came in their dreams. He showed them the way home. After this, sailors called Nicholas their helper. When Nicholas died, people were very sad, but they remembered all his good actions. They told stories about him. The church made him a saint. This means he was a very, very good person. Now they called him Saint Nicholas. In different countries, people call Saint Nicholas different names. In Holland, they say Sinterklaas. In America, they say Santa Claus. In England, they say Father Christmas. But they all mean the same person, the kind man who helps others. Some people celebrate St. Nicholas Day. This is on December 6th. Children put their shoes outside their doors. In the morning, they find small gifts in their shoes. This is like the gold Nicholas gave to the poor family. Today, many Christmas traditions come from St. Nicholas. People give gifts like he did. They help others like he did. They try to be kind like he was. Santa Claus wears red and white clothes, just like Bishop Nicholas did. We can all be like Saint Nicholas. We can help other people. We can share what we have. We can be kind to everyone. We don't need to tell others about our good actions. We can help in secret, just like Nicholas did. When we help others, we make them happy. When we share our things, we make friends happy. When we are kind, we make everyone happy. This is what Nicholas taught us. This is why people still remember him today. Nicholas liked to give special gifts. He gave warm clothes to cold children. He gave food to hungry families. He gave medicine to sick people. He gave toys to sad children. But he never wanted anyone to know it was him. He gave his gifts at night when everyone was sleeping. People say Nicholas had three golden bags. He used these bags to carry gifts. Now, many pictures show St. Nicholas with three golden bags. These bags remind us of how he helped the poor family with three daughters. Some people put three golden balls outside their shops to remember Nicholas. Nicholas did many kind things. Once, he helped the poor farmer get food. Another time, he helped a sick child get better. He gave blankets to cold people in winter. He helped old people carry heavy things. Every day, he looked for ways to help others. Nicholas taught people to be kind. He said, look for people who need help. He said, share what you have. He said, be kind every day. Many people listened to him. They wanted to be good like him. They started helping others too. Nicholas lived in a simple house. 
He didn't want a big house. He gave his money to poor people. He kept only what he needed. He said, We don't need many things to be happy. We just need to help others. People remembered these wise words. As a church leader, Nicholas had special jobs. He had to take care of the church. He had to help people pray. He had to teach people about God. But he never forgot about helping poor people. He used the church money to help others. In winter, Nicholas worked very hard. Many people needed help when it was cold. He gave them warm clothes and food. He did this every winter. This is why we think of St. Nicholas at Christmas time. Christmas is in winter, when people need help the most. Nicholas had many friends. They were rich people and poor people. They were old people and young people. They were happy people and sad people. Nicholas was kind to everyone. He didn't care if people were different. He helped everyone the same way. People loved Bishop Nicholas. When they saw him walking in town, they smiled. Children ran to him for hugs. Old people asked him for help. Sick people asked him to pray for them. Everyone knew he would help them. Every morning, Nicholas prayed. He asked God to help him be kind. He asked God to show him who needed help. He asked God to make him a better person. Then he went out to help people. He did this every single day. Some days were very special for Nicholas. On these days, he gave extra gifts. He gave more food to poor people. He told more stories to children. He helped more families. These special days made everyone happy. Today, we call December 6th St. Nicholas Day. Nicholas was always ready to help. If someone was hungry, he gave them food. If someone was sick, he helped them get better. If someone was sad, he made them happy. If someone needed a friend, he was their friend. He never said no when someone needed help. People told many stories about Nicholas. They said he helped a lost child find home. They said he gave food to a hungry family. They said he helped sailors in a storm. They said he made sad people happy. All these stories were about his kindness. Nicholas showed people how to be good. He didn't just tell them to be kind. He showed them how to be kind. He didn't just say, help others. He showed them how to help. He was a good example for everyone. Today, we remember Nicholas in many ways. We give gifts like he did. We help others like he did. We try to be kind like he was. When we see Santa Claus, we remember the real Nicholas. We remember his kindness and his good heart. Nicholas had an important message. He said, everyone can help others. He said, you don't need to be rich to be kind. He said, small kind actions are very important. This message is still important today. In our world today, we still need people like Nicholas. We need people who help others. We need people who are kind. We need people who share. When we help others, we are like St. Nicholas. We make the world better. Now it's our turn to be like Nicholas. We can help our friends. We can help our family. 
We can help people we don't know. We can do small, kind things every day. This makes everyone happy. When we help others like Nicholas did, we make the world better. When we are kind like Nicholas was, we make people happy. When we share like Nicholas shared, we help everyone. We can all be like Nicholas. Thank you for reading our story about St. Nicholas. We hope you learn many good things. Remember to be kind like Nicholas. Remember to help others. Please subscribe to our channel at Learn English Through Story As No for more nice stories. Don't forget to like and share.